Guys, give it up from Columbus Rufio. Thank you, thank you. You guys give it up for your host, Jason. Yeah, he's been a good host. And one thing I learned about hosts with hats like that, just laugh, just laugh. You guys ever seen Peaky Blinders? That's a Peaky Blinders hat. I don't know if you guys like watching. I watch Netflix. Um, I'm uh, 26 years old, and I'm also a black guy. I just don't feel comfortable telling all you I smoke weed. Yeah, you guys look like cops from this angle. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really like that. But I see that there's kids in here, and kids are menaces. I'm 26 with no kids, so that kid shit is crazy to me. Like, my niece is nine years old, and she's a psycho. Just like any other woman, right? She's the one of the craziest. I, I ran up to her the other day. She's on her iPhone. She says, I ain't finna do a bitch ass thing. <laughs> what? Like, who taught you that 1970s saying, though? <laughs> a bitch ass thing. I've never ever said that ever in my life. That's crazy. I think technology should have the age cut off because I'm tired of helping my dad. Like, I'm grown now. Quit calling me. He told me, how do I make this thing call? What are we on now? Is this not a call? Like, what are you doing? You called me. How do you not know what's going on here? That shit is crazy to me. I think I wasted half my life learning how to dance. Like, for what reason now? Like, I'm 26 years old, and I haven't really bust a cool groove in a minute. You know what I mean? Like, when's the last time you really got out there and got to it? There's no places to. Dance? Uh, you can't dance right now, because I feel like there's only one dance move I have, and it's the Dougie. I go right to this right here, and that means I get girls. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> girls love the Dougie. It's crazy. Growing up uh, as a 26-year-old, your friends are also stupid. It's crazy. Like, dang, we went to the same school. How are you dumber, you know? <laughs> one of my friends told me, black people don't like zoos. Yeah, duh, like live animals? What the fuck? Like, I don't do well in that situation. He's like, yeah, the only zoos I mess with is the Haitians. What? That's Z-O-E-S. That's zoos. That's not zoos, you idiot. People are really crazy. It's, it's getting worse and worse every day. Like, um, one of my friends, he told me, I don't have a stimulus check coming. What? He's like, yeah, so I'm going to start selling gas. I got 88, 88 and 87. Uh, wh why? He's like, it's $4. I got it for three fifty. I can make 50 cents off your gas of every gallon. I'm like, you're an idiot. Why don't you get a job? <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy. You just fill out an application, put your name on it, and they look at your face and see you have tattoos on your face. So you're not going to get that either. Yeah, sell the gas. <laughs> sell the gas, bro. Really sucks. I got some jokes in my phone because as a young guy, it's really hard to remember things. Uh, so let me get right to this little joke right here. I can tell that you guys watched the movie Click. No? Adam Sandler? Nobody's Adam Sandler fan in here? It's basically a movie about a remote control that pauses life. You know how much damage I would cause with that remote, sir? I could easily pause you right now, slap you 37 times, come out of it, start telling jokes again, and you would say, ow, my face hurts. <laughs> wow, I would be like, fuck this guy, I'm up, you know what I mean? I feel like I won in that situation. I don't know. I feel like there would have to be a pause realm police. And they would have to be fair, kind people. Because in that pause realm, it could get wicked. Really wicked. Um, I feel like all my friends are doing better in life than me. They always tell me stuff like, uh, what you doing lately? I'm telling stand-up. Well, I'm selling houses. Well, good for you, bitch. Like, when did it become about you? You asked me, what am I doing? After that, you're supposed to say, how's that going? You feel what I'm saying? A whole conversation. When did this become about you? That's what I'm saying. As a young black man, there's always competition within your friendships. Like, I thought we were on the same team. Like, why are you pushing me? One of my friends said, can you tell jokes in front of a whole place of white people? I said, touche. <laughs> Here today, you know? Doing pretty decent. That's my life. So I got one more joke. Let me see what I can find in my phone for you. 
uh, ladies, I'm going to teach you something that the world taught me. If it's brown, flush it down. Like, come on, don't leave your shit in the toilet. I'm tired of it. I go to this girl's house, she literally has disintegrated shit in her toilet. And I'm like, this is way too much shit for a woman. Like, what the hell is this? So I had to flush it down. I knew you guys wouldn't like that joke because you guys are eating. <laughs> so I thought I would go ahead and just ruin that for you. But then I thought about it. It wasn't that decent anyway. You know what I mean? The food was okay. Say. Well, that's been my time. I'm going to get your hoes back up here. Thank you. Guys, give it up again for Rufio.